secret, we are facing some seriously pivotal issues. Everyone's talking about inflation. You know what's not feeling inflation? Equal play for black actresses. Queen Latifah and Taraji P. Henson may have just taken their fight for equal pay to the big leagues, but this has been a long time coming, and they certainly made it known. Thank you, Taraji, for standing up for all of us. The reason she thanked Henson is because the actress has been fighting for this for a while. We are. I mean, women are paid less, period. It's nothing different than what happens in the world. Women tend to be paid less than their male counterparts. Um, so I do agree. But not just her, Queen Latifah also has. We are. I mean, women are paid less, period. It's nothing different than what happens in the world. Women tend to be paid less than their male counterparts. Um, so I do agree with her in that sense. Coincidentally, the person she was agreeing with was also the same person that name dropped who had been at the center of their fight. They knew. So when they went for, well, if they were handpicked for that movie, those women should have been taken care of from the moment. If you've been following the news over the past couple of weeks, you'd know that there have been talks about the pay disparities in Hollywood. But contrary to what many people might think, these talks have actually been ongoing for decades. The difference between then and now is that unlike before when the battle was strictly against the powerful men that ruled the entertainment industry, now it seems to be a fellow black woman who's underhanding other actresses, and it seems Queen Latifa and Tara G.P. Henson are sick of it. To prove how serious of an issue this problem is, these women have just taken to one of the biggest stages in the entertainment world to call out the very woman who sits in the middle of this battle they're fighting. Now, I've not mentioned her name, but I will tell you that she has a very successful TV show and hosts it. If you couldn't tell by now, the person I'm referring to is none other than the powerful Ms. Winfrey. As someone who's felt the cold embrace of and discrimination in general, according to her story, you'd expect that this woman would be the last person to be involved in anything like that, but surprise, surprise. What's worse is that getting involved in these stories is only where it begins for the famous hostess. Reports say she's done it to people and might have even played a role in making sure other black actresses got paid less in projects she wasn't even involved in. In the eyes of people like Queen Latifah and Henson, this is even worse than the other kinds of roadblocks they've faced in their lives. The reason is that being in the entertainment space together and fighting through similar struggles is supposed to be something they could relate to and fight, but here they are getting stabbed in the back. Anyway, this seems to be why these women finally summed up the courage to take their fight to the gates of Hollywood, and when I tell you it set off a chain reaction, that's the understatement of the year. Fans, fellow celebrities, and virtually everyone involved in the entertainment sphere in one way or the next have all reportedly spoken in support of both women. But in realizing that their choice to speak now might have been targeted at exposing Winfrey, people have been allegedly discovering even worse situations where the famous host intentionally underhanded black actresses. Now it seems because of Queen Latifah and Henson, Winfrey might be up against a lot more than just a legion of fans. But it doesn't get unreal till you see just how vivid the picture these women painted of her gets. Um, it's a scary thing to speak your truth, but I urge you all to speak your truth. Because at the end of the day, that's all we have. And like they say, the truth will set you free. When you've been in the film industry for decades, it's almost 100% certain that people would take whatever you say about the space seriously because of your wealth of experience. This caveat is the very thing Tara G. P. Henson and Queen Latifah recently took advantage of to show the world who their favorite hostess really might be. But they didn't exactly take the most direct approach. According to reports, during this year's awards ceremony, Queen Latifah and Tara G. P. Henson teamed up and spoke against the inequality of payment for black actresses in Hollywood. As part of her opening comments at the NACP, Queen Latifah talked about the struggles that Americans are facing, like inflation, which prompted Taraji P. Henson to say that black actresses continue to be underpaid in Hollywood. Henson, who took home a NACP award for Outstanding Supporting Actress for her riveting performance in 2023's The Color Purple as Shug Avery, also took to the stage for a soul-stirring speech documenting the aftermath of her speech about unequal pay for black actresses. It's no secret we are facing some seriously pivotal issues, Latifa said during her monologue. She added, everyone is talking about inflation. You know what's not feeling inflation? 
The cameras then cut to Henson, who was sitting with the audience and said, equal pay for black actresses. No secret, we are facing some seriously pivotal issues. Everyone's talking about inflation. You know what's not feeling inflation? Equal pay for black actresses. Latifah then said, thank you Taraji for standing up for all of us. Henson would take the stage soon after to receive the award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a motion picture for The Color Purple. During her acceptance speech, she took the opportunity to thank those who stood by her during the press tour for the movie when she initially called out the pay inequality that exists in Hollywood. The movie press tour she made that complaint happened to have been produced by Winfrey. This is the one factor that gave who both actresses were referring to away because tell me what the odds are for it to be someone else. But even if you don't believe in odds, there's a very clear paper trail. As she said, Henson had already raised alarm about payment disparities in the industry. However, the timing for her words, like now, couldn't have been more perfect, as it came out around the time she was promoting The Color Purple, which just so happened to have been produced by this same controversial talk show host we've been talking about. I've been getting paid and I've been fighting tooth and nail every project to get that same freaking quote. And it's a slap in the face when people go, oh girl, you work all the time, you always working. Well, God damn it, I have to. It's not because I wish I could do two movies a year and that's that. I have to work because the math ain't mathing. And I have bills, she said, with tears. Color purple. What? Yes, ma'am. Who said what? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yeah. tells you this woman probably more than likely had a horrible experience on that set. Because of this, it didn't take fans too long to put two and two together about who she was referring to. To many, the fact that Henson had selected the movie's promotion to discuss these matters, in any event, led them to believe that she was making a direct criticism of the movie's producers, specifically Winfrey. Besides that, the situation grew even worse after a different instance when TikTok users started criticizing two videos from a press conference to promote the same movie. TikTokers said Henson and Winfrey did not get along and that the acrimony actor appeared uncomfortable around her producer after paying extra attention to the two women's body language. She looked at Taraji and quickly looks away. And now look at Taraji, look at her legs. She locks it away from Oprah, looking up, fluttering her eyes, trying to hold back tears. This TikToker also brought up that Henson was the only actress Winfrey didn't actually touch among everyone there. All closed up. She's not even trying to open up and was closing in on Oprah. Oprah pulls out, trying to find an escape, goes right behind Gano Brooks. I look at Taraji Faze. She's just like not happy. Surprisingly, this wasn't actually the only thing she said on record about her time on the set. Henson also said in a recent interview with the New York Times that she and her co-stars on The Color Purple got a lot of stuff on that set because she fought for it behind the scenes. One such example was transportation and security to the film's Atlanta set, as the production allegedly offered the cast rental cars at first and expected the actors to drive themselves to the set. They gave us rental cars and I was like, I can't drive myself to set in Atlanta. This is insurance liability, it's dangerous. Now they robbing people. What do I look like taking myself to work by myself in a rental car, Henson said. So I was like, can I get a driver or security to take me? I'm not asking for the moon. They're like, well, if we do it for you, we got to do it for everybody. Well, do it for everybody. It's stuff like that, stuff I shouldn't have to fight for. I was on the set of Empire fighting for trailers that weren't infested with bugs. Logistics problems aside, the cast members had several other problems on the set. During a recent Q&A for the film presented by THR, Danielle Brooks revealed the actors did not initially get their own dressing rooms when they showed up for rehearsals, nor was food provided to them at that time. I remember when we first came and were doing rehearsals, they put us all in the same space, Brooks said. We didn't have our own dressing rooms at the time. This was my first studio film. Sometimes you do come in saying, okay, I'll take whatever they give me. I'm just happy to be here. But Taraji spoke up for us. You showed me how to do that. Like Taraji has been fighting this fight for her fellow actresses. Queen Latifah has also been at it since as far back as 2017. Well, we are. I mean, women are paid less, period. It's nothing different than what happens in the world. Women tend to be paid less than their male counterparts. 
Um, so I do agree. During an interview with Essence Now, the rapper come actress spoke about how the pay disparities in Hollywood have been going on for so much longer than most people realize. At the time, she said, there's nothing different than what happens in the world, women getting paid less than their male counterparts. The actress went further to clarify that it wasn't just male counterparts, but that black women tend to be paid less in general. Her way of dealing with this was by her and other big names pushing their offers far above what they would ordinarily be expected to take for roles. Not just that, she also mentioned that owning the content being created is also how the expected changes will be achieved. And uh, we don't just take what we're offered. You know, we always push it further and we realize what our worth is. But I also realize that we can create these. We can create this. Although that may have helped a little, she's admitted that it's all part of their continuous fight against the wide gap the industry has put between the pay of black women and all the other professionals in their line of work. To think this is a struggle almost every black woman in the industry faced, yet someone with as much influence as Winfrey has not just stayed quiet about it, but has also been accused of doing that very thing. Speaking of the famed hostess, Taraji wasn't actually the only person from the color purple who spoke out against Winfrey for their poor treatment, as that was also Fantasia Bruno's story. The actress shocked the world by admitting that she had to go through hell and back when she was playing C. Lee in The Color Purple. She revealed that although she was always working, she didn't have any money to even order a pizza. When I played C. Lee on Broadway, that was heavy for me. I didn't have a team. Everybody that was around me was taking everything that I had. I would get home and couldn't even order a pizza, but I was never home. How is that? I ain't got no money, but I'm always working, she said. To make matters worse, Fantasia claimed that her real-life situation was just as bad as the characters, therefore it was hard for her to play the part. The actress previously told Entertainment Weekly that she felt like she was carrying her cross and Celie's cross during the production. What I felt and carried stepping into her shoes and playing her, I wasn't ready to go back to that. However, in an interview with People, she didn't mince words about her disdain for playing Celie on stage and how it almost prevented her from saying yes to the new Blitz Bazawul directed film. She told the outlet, I hated it. That was around the time that my life was so crazy, so it was almost like carrying my cross and Celie's cross. I didn't know how to come out of the character. If one person said it, maybe it could have been a mistake. Two people, maybe a coincidence, but for three people to say the same thing, chances are Winfrey is probably not that innocent of the allegations. While most fans have been focused on praising these women for coming out to speak on their experiences, others believe they'll pay dearly for it, especially Taraji. One user wrote, she thanked the box office for the color purple so I doubt a major studio will bank on her again. Back to television for you Taraji, if you're lucky. What do you think? Were they right to speak up or did they do too much? That's it. Goodbye.